Hey, what's up guys? Gorilla Bear Tech back at you again. This time with another RC product review of our brushless system, okay? Now guys, this is compatible with most hobby grade electric RC cars, trucks, uh, you name it. It's compatible with most RC vehicles uh, ranging from 1.8 scale to 1.10 scale. Now this does say on the box that it is a 1.10 uh, system, so I would not recommend you putting this in a 1.8 scale vehicle because it would be too small. You just wouldn't get the power you'd like. This is meant for 1.10 scale, okay? So it is the X-Series brushless power system, short course truck, fast, easy, reliable, uh, XTM Racing, 4 pole 550 size can brushless system, okay guys? Now it does retail originally for 181.30, I believe it says right there guys, as you can see, 181.30, but I did buy in fact for $120, okay guys? You can get this for $120 on, uh, on a normal sale. Most of the time, you know, usually you can. Um, it just it just depends where you go. You know, once again, guys, uh, I don't have product descriptions, you know, product links under my uh, description area in my videos, and I do apologize about that. I am working on growing my channel, making it better, guys, and um, using more tools to make my channel better, and um, you know, things that I'm not going to tell you that I'm actually touching up on. Uh, I'm going to let you guys just find that out when you watch my videos. So that way, you know, it makes most of you uh, happy, you know, it makes my videos a little bit more entertaining. You know, I actually did add some uh, some new stuff to uh, to some recent videos, okay? And one of them is actually being uploaded as, as of this moment, as I'm doing this video. So anyway, back to this video. You know, 4 pole, 550 brushless motor, so it's a big motor, guys, okay? It's the size of the Titan uh, brush systems that uh, Traxxas uses on most of their uh, brush models. It is factory wired, water resistant, and it's 2 to 3S LiPo compatible, guys, so you can go up to 3S on this system, okay? It does go up to 3-cell. Do not go up to 4-cell, 5-cell, 6-cells, guys, 7, 8, 9, whatever. Okay, 10, 11. Uh, just don't do that, okay? If you go above 3-cell, you are going to do a lot of damage to the system. Okay, you may do damage to the motor, but you will definitely do damage to your, uh, X6, your X60 electronic speed controller, okay? Also known as an ESC. If you have I always do these reviews for uh, you know the newbies out there, experienced folks like myself. You know, plus it's fun, it's informative, and it helps you guys out. Okay? Now, guys, let me show you the top. Speed control features: programmable, water resistant, burst current 380A, BC output 6 volts, 3 amps, resistance 0.0007 ohm. Continuous current 60 amps, dimensions 52 by 38 by 36 millimeters, guys. So, weight 107 grams, wires and fans. So, yes, guys, this ESC, as you saw in the picture on the front of the box, does come with the built in fan. Okay, so it's freaking awesome. It is a great system. And I'll tell you what happened with it toward the end of the video, okay? 2 to 3S LiPo, 6 to 8 cell nickel metal compatible, okay? So, 2 to 3 cell capabilities with the system, guys, on a LiPo battery six to eight cell nickel metals, okay? Nothing more than eight cell nickel metal, that's maxed. ESC wired with D-connector for battery, four millimeter bullet for motor, okay? Motor features, okay guys, this is a powerful ass motor. It's 3,300 kV. Uh, slightly weaker than the Traxxas Valenian 110 scale, which is a 3,500, but no big deal. They're pretty much the same. You will, you'll still get the same speed pretty much. It won't be off probably 35 miles per hour off. Max voltage 15 volts, plus it matters how you gear as well. Weight is 195 grams, that's important to some of you guys. Four pole 12 slot high torque motor design, guys, and it is a beautiful motor. Uh, I don't know what that L and D, all that stands for, but there you go, guys. Pause and read for yourself. High quality silicone shielded wire leads, high RPM ABEC 5 rated oversized bearings. Okay, CNC machine 6061TX. Uh, TX uh, T6 billet aluminum heat sink can okay so it comes with all of this badass stuff now here's the box the back of the box so I was gonna say the box <laughs> the back you know no guys I'm not uh trying to be Arnold Schwarzenegger on you okay so do apologize if I have little hiccups here and there uh, you may think I'm getting lost in what I'm saying I'm just thinking guys so 
You know, no, I'm not slow. I don't have a speech impediment. Uh, no disabilities. So thank you very much, and I'm grateful to God. All right, guys. Glad I can entertain you and make you laugh at some of the things that I say. Uh, that's basically what it's about, guys, is having fun usually, right? Okay, so that's about it, guys. There's a bottom. I'm showing you every angle so you know what you're getting. Now, guys, I was going to point out, like I said, uh, three to four minutes ago, regarding, uh, you know, regarding uh, selling this uh, this system. Why well, didn't? Yeah, I did sell it. Yeah, I'm just going to say I sold it. Okay, I don't have it on me. That's why you don't see it next to the box in this review. Um, basically, I sold it on uh, on one of those uh, short course trucks I used to have, which was a uh, DHK. Now I don't remember the exact model, but uh, in the past, before I owned my Traxxas models, I used to own a bunch of DHK, uh, you know, electric hobby grade RC cars that were brushed, and I would just put my own power system into them. I would buy them brushed, that is, and then you know make them rushless. Basically, this was one of the systems I put in it, and unfortunately, um, I ended up selling this system with the short course truck that uh, I installed it into. Due to the simple fact that DHK brand just sucks, it's a hobby people brand, so beware, guys, if <laughs> if you're beginning into the hobby and you're first starting out, you know, you're a newbie, um, and you don't know much about the hobby, you know, yeah, you can go with DHK products like a DHK Razor, you know, the DHK Shogun, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know the rest of them, but um, I did have the short course model, I had the monster truck, and I had the buggy, and I sold all of them because I just kept stripping drivetrains. Stripping drivetrain after drivetrain, it sucked, guys. It was a shitty experience. Ever since I went with Traxxas, I never looked back. Traxxas is the best. Uh, you you really can't get any better than Traxxas, okay? Now, there you go, guys. I basically showed you the entire thing. There you go, guys. That's about it with this review. Please like, share, dislike, comment down below, subscribe, of course, and also be sure to click the notification bell as it helps me a ton, guys. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Gorilla Bear Tech signing out. You guys have a wonderful, sunny day.